gosh. It's like a song out here. Sticky already. <laughs> Saturday, you know? Five. It's about to be five on Saturday. Oh, it's about to get real fun. Five, but then, yeah, like literally today, my shit's about to drop like heavy, like heavy yeah. food. And then, but I'm 74 days from my second show. That's is the it, biggest thing. Do you think it's going to be harder or easier with, with a girl? No, with a daughter. It's uh, first prep with her, right? Yeah, it's my first prep having a little girl. Um, I don't know. It's, 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 I say it's more motivation, man. Yeah. When I'm having, when I'm staring at her, I see when I'm eating a meal, I'm just, Motivates because I want to pick her up on stage. Oh man! After I win, bro, that's. Oh, you just you just you just vision you just vocalized it, right? I got a whole vision Ooh. in my head that I've been I've, I've had since she's been born of what I wanted to, wanted to happen, and you know it's, we're five months out from making that happen. So I'm just I'm locked in. It's great. My wife's super supportive. She's two P too, so she knows the, she knows the game. And when I'm on my game, she's usually so dieting too. How old were you in that video? That was that was you had two titles at that time. So that was what. You're 26. 26. I was 25. Damn. So yeah, I was 26. I just started dating Heidi that year. No, I'm, I'm, are you older than me? I'm 30. Are you? Yeah, I'm 32. I was about to say, like, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 32. I'm 33 this year. That's young, man. That's young. Not really. That was that was around right the time you started dating Heidi, right? In, in the 2016. Yeah. You, you never saw the first show. Right? This first one. Mm -hmm. the, no. I didn't. How far away was that from this one? Literally like five minutes, which is wild. Like all this time, you know, I was spending like years and years like, oh, I just gotta find the perfect spot, you know, and there's nothing around here. Like I'm gonna have to go and build like off the highway, all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, like kind of open your eyes to a bigger spectrum of like, oh, this property is like not what I was looking for, but it worked. Did you grow up here? Bro, yeah, I grew up like, literally like my daycare was like right here. Like my high school's up to the right. And then like my first gym's on the right. And then I'll finish straight ahead. So it's an 18 and a half acre lot. And, uh, it's a fucking big one. Do you own the property? Yeah. You own the property? It's a, this is an 18 and a half acre lot. It used to be like a drilling facility, like a, like big ass trucks, like with the, the you know, eight foot, nine foot tall tires. And they would drill for oil. Mm -hmm. And like, I guess like rocks or some shit. There's still oil underneath there? Yeah. I have no idea. You should check it. I was, I should go, go, yeah. <laughs> so the concept was like, the land, Disneyland, like having like a, almost like an arch, you know, but the city didn't let me do it. So do this, but this painting, and then we got 236 parking spots. Like none of the parking was here before. So this is all this like, is nuts, yeah. boom, gym two, and then gym three. And then you got football field, soccer, sand, volleyballs. You got, now this, we're building, you see we're building a tri running track right now. So it'll be a mile long through the thing. It'll be like gravel. So we get around? Yeah, it's like all around, around the football, so it's just uh, and we're doing oh, like calisthenics and shit around, a little bridge, you know, so it's a little, some patio area. I mean, I haven't seen anything like this. Is there anybody doing anything similar to this at all? Oh, it has I'm probably not like stupid this. enough to do it, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm, bro, I, would, I, I got kind of close to that line. That building over there was gonna be a hotel right now, it's just demoed out, and it's gonna be office space right there. You guys have a hotel here or no? No, 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 that, like, I built it out and then it wasn't built correctly. So I had to, I, it was like a, re, I had to restart. And I just, don't worry about it. Yeah, I like all your stuff, man. All your stuff is, yeah. is real dope. Yeah, our men's fashion designers here, like, wanted to introduce you, see if you like anything, you know, of course. what you like. My wife orders and stuff, and she loves it. It reminds me of, like, it was like a Balenciaga when you walk in or something like that, like the way you set it up and the lights and everything. This thing was, I was trying to hide two columns, so I came up with, like, a the legacy wall, you know? But this is really two ways to hide. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, so bro, you're at guarantee like you're on here. So this is every moment that's been, every person, is, even like extra girl, whatever. So anyone who's been a part of the brand and the journey. Oh, her style. store looks great too. Are you like walking or are you going to strip back? I'm dieting right now, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, man, these are good I mean, as hell. <laughs> oh, these sour strips? So yeah. good. This is my girlfriend. Nice, right? Yeah, this is, looks really nice. Complete opposite. Yeah. It looks a secret room that I Oh, really? Like a, like a, like a secret shit. They own a secret room. Okay. <laughs> and this will take you to uh, the hallway there. This is the lounge here, patio. Out this place is huge, man. This is cool. How's it feel to, build, to be able to build all this? Wait, it's wild. It, it, I mean, it, 
I have like one moment every year or two that it kind of hits me up, but like just a lot of responsibility to grow up now. Over everything, over everything, it's like, you just gotta keep it going, you know? Keep it moving. Amazing food. We have the summer training, so I made chicken by the, by the pound, no fucking oils. It's just like, my mom I taught her how to do everything, which like, super, super low. Get beef, sweet potato by the, like, three pounds of it. So this gym is the, uh, AC, you know, me, almost all brand new equipment. Prime sponsored it after I opened, of course. This gym is uh, louder music, no AC, open bays, run, like it's a lot. You can take your shirt off here. You can't lift the equipment with that. Make sure you also keep the shirt on there. Shirt on there. I'm trying to kind of break the. That's good. Stuff. Yeah. But uh, you know, this is this is this is. This is yeah. Like how you have mirrors so you can look at yourself everywhere you turn. Right, and it makes like the hallway feel so long. This room is like so dope. This is the highlight. Is this your office? No, so this is for the athletes only and a plus one. This is pretty much there used to be like 250 offices here in this building. So I demoed them out. I didn't know what to do with the space. So I was like, bar? Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> Oh, this is dope, bro. Shit. <laughs> this is every kid's dream, man. Bro, Look at that. You got fully stocked 27 foot bar. You got the a whole snack room in there. You got Damn. Do you do private events in there? Uh, yeah, just, I mean, just for us, though. Just for you guys? And this is open like 24 7 to the athletes. We're kind of just, you know. Come here and work, hang out. Bond, you know. It's nice. Drink and bond. It's, it's my favorite game at the arcade. <laughs> man, this is really cool, man. Nice. Steam them, get them prepped. This is what we need to have in the house. This is what you need in the house. Fish tank. This is really a gift from my, my project manager, the uh, GC. Surprised me with the fish tank. And there's like some actually really sick stuff. I got super into it, but then I started feeding the fish too much. And I know there's a thing. They yeah, all died. they all died. And they all died. <laughs> so this here, this massive like middle area, it's all just our studio. So this is like the actual, like, this is where every shoot happens, every creative thing happens. This is the one. Oh damn. This is this is so worth it though, man. Like this is hot. <laughs> you got every single size. Like stuck in 2016, bro. They actually. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, bro. Hi, how are you? Been following you for so fucking long, dude. Nice, man. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm glad, sure. to, glad to be here. Yeah. Jeremy, Daniel, yeah, nice, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, that's it? There's not more? <laughs> this is incredible, man. Congratulations on all this, bro. I know how hard you worked to get here. It's almost like it's just to hold the shit, though, you know? It's like, it's like the, we're already out of offices. So like, my bad for designing so big. This is, this is like a, it's one of the... <laughs> this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. A lot bigger, a lot more going on here. I've been talking about my injuries for the last few years. I feel like people are kind of tired about hearing it. So I'm just trying to stay positive and just work through everything. It's the herniated discs and the nerve issues I have. So, and then also the ego lifting I do, man. Like, I, I like to lift heavy. Yeah. And um, in Turkey, that's what I was doing. I got rushed through my workout. We were, Istanbul is, one, is like the craziest, busiest city I've ever been in. There's 18 and a half million people in Istanbul. So we were get, going back and forth. It was like probably like 10 miles. It took us like three hours to get there, man. It was ridiculous. I had a seminar at the gym and I was, still hadn't worked out yet. He's like, okay, you got 45 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I got 45 minutes to do a leg workout. So I was jamming through the workout. I was dehydrated. It was hot out there. wasn't getting any water. I had like two meals in me all day long. Yeah. It's just, there's just levels to different, the way you train. And I'll never forget the first time we trained at Elevate. Yeah. Uh, I remember 
so vividly, it was like lateral races, right? And um, I had never trained with someone who you want, like you were like, you, you were like, th you know, third place, second place. Yeah, you no, know, I still train with a lot of intensity. Now that I'm older, I gotta be smarter because my body's not the same as it used to be. Everything hurts. So I gotta be able to adjust my workouts. That's the, probably the biggest thing. I'm not able to just go in there and, and let loose because I gotta be smart at the same time. Certain muscles I can, but you know, when it comes to like chest, I gotta be really careful with my chest. I don't want to tear again. Well, you look great. Bro. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. But the injuries, the only good thing that came out of it is the fact that my legs are already pretty good. Yeah. And they, all, they told me that I need to back off the legs because of the weight category now. They're putting the, the weight restrictions on the height. You don't know and I carry a lot of weight. I'm over classic weight. Really? And it's going to be less than classic. Shit, so you got to shrink down. I got to get my legs to come down. How's your girl? It's the best thing ever. Like, I like, there's nothing better. Like, when I left, she has a hard time when I leave now. now oh. Back before, she was too little to really understand, but now she understands. I'm, I pack my bags. She gets sad. She's like, Daddy, no. She was standing by my suitcase like this. Oh. No, Daddy, no, no. Oh, so I got her. Safe. My wife got her a little locket with, my, with our picture in it. So she's been, last night, she was walking around the house with it, wouldn't let go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Damn, bro, that, that was just one. That, when you have a kid, it's gonna change, change, it changes everything, everything for you. Yeah. It's the best feeling. It's a lot of work, a lot of responsibility, but like your whole perspective on What's where your joy comes from is different. Yeah. You know, it's like, like I, it's like literally it, time, time. Well, you wanna work hard for your kid, you wanna give him everything. Like, yeah. uh, my daughter's so spoiled, I want her to have everything. Yeah. Like I said, where I find my joy, like what would I rather do? Like before I'd always want to go out and hang out with my buddies or go to, you know, go to the bar or something. And now like I couldn't do that because I got, I would rather spend time with my little girl. Like I would feel guilty if I was out yeah. at night with the boys. Yeah, yeah. And you get like 10 years from your shit. I don't even say, me and say that to me, bro. Like I just, I know it's coming. It's like that moment, she's not gonna want to snuggle with me on the couch. Oh. She's like, dad. Yeah, right? Oh. Ew, dad, don't kiss me. What do you mean? That, that like. Me, bro. Yeah. This is the year of your life, bro. This is the year of your life. This is it, man. This, is it. this year is gonna set the tone for me for the rest of my life. So, that's why I'm going all in, man. And that's why it's, you know, I've, had, I've waited five years because I needed to be mentally ready for it. I had to be doing this for the right reasons. 
Is Henderson a three times? Henderson is a three time champ, so he's coming back this year again. Yeah, yeah he's gonna. If he wins, he ties my ties my uh, a record. You know, he's a great competitor, he's bro. Great. I'm, not, I'm not counting Brandon out at all. I still really want to beat him. He beat me last time, so he's on my bucket list. Ryan Terry's on my bucket list to be Aaron. Those guys, I'm gonna see on the stage this year. And it's gonna be mine. I'm gonna be in that crowd, fucking. Team Wendia. Oh, yeah, man. All right. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Good That's going yeah. well. For sure. Basically a cat. She's so quiet. <laughs> Have you heard of the creamy? It's this is all melted in fair life. Bro. Yeah. No, though this is with the scoop and half of ghost nutter butter chocolate. Mess. A little bit of little bit of little bit of stevia, vanilla extract. Let's try a bite. I'm giving one way on this Leo. Yeah, that's really good. That's like straight up. Yeah, that's really good. It's just protein powder water and just swaz it. What'd you use to blend it up? And then the, the, it's called cream. I don't know why they call it that. But cream. What else is it? Just that? Just ice cream. Sort of <laughs> sorbet. <laughs> we know what sorbet is. Warm. Come on. That's good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Crap. Bring your hand over your head, kind of, and then try to get that light pull out a little bit and relax it. There's a lot of bodybuilders out here, man. I was just people have been messaging me since I've been here. Like guys I didn't know lived out here. There's a handful of them. You down, bro? <laughs> you used to the heat? It didn't look like you got very used to it today. <laughs> So, hey, it's been real hot. Lately. Like this week yeah. has been actually a record breaking, like, yeah. like My not normal. Not like, like not normal. Like this is not normal. This is uh, a little overboard. Ain't no California. And if you want to play with the thumb positioning, yeah, usually that one's pretty good. No, relax like it for a second. Again. <laughs> Do you roll out with a home roller PVC? Do you ever use a softball? I use a, yeah, but I have a hard one. Well, well, like a baseball, women's baseball. It's that size, yeah. yeah. I use it better. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I've needed that for like two weeks. <laughs> you can get marked out right now? Yeah, I'm just going through hell right now. This guy's, <laughs> this guy's got a heavy hand. Dude, that's like, if you want to get some of that, I'm like, ah. <laughs> you don't get my work done? It just hurts so much. <laughs> last, last thing, just sit up, face this way. Face this way. Mm -hmm. Man just doubled in size when he sat up. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been dieting for like a good like six weeks. Nothing crazy, but just like kind of being clean, getting slowly lowering weight. Yeah, so you're in good shape right now. Especially yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm leaner now than I was like a week and a half ago, so I keep getting leaner. Like, that gets me closer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts so bad, your pecs. They're so sensitive. Oh! Nice and tender. <laughs> Shoulder, bro. <laughs> this is tender. We won't train that tomorrow, so stay tuned for the next video where the shoulders with it. You ate some barbecue chicken, didn't you? I dropped it all. Oh, okay. Yeah, just some bodybuilder shit, you know what I'm saying? Some prep, you know the vibes. 
sure what that's done. Yeah, I'm teaching him a few things, you know? He asked for my advice. He's like, dude, you're so big and juicy. What do I do? <laughs> I taught him, I said, you, you give a little extra, that's all. That's all my advice is. Give a little extra. Just give a little extra. When coach says 160, you go 170. <laughs> You know, timing, why are you doing that? Don't do that. Mm. Whoa! I just gave one away from that. I, okay. I gotta train my dog. Oh, I shit. gotta get a dog first, but. It's the better I've been making. Just, I, I overcooked the last one. I overcook it, all my meals are gonna suck for the next two days. You don't want, you want to be able to see the hands. You don't want like up on a motorcycle. That's better. Yeah. And stay alive for this. Do the, and so also like you need to practice kind of like how far up you can cock and then how far back you can cock without moving the arm too much. So you understand your range of motions. Yeah, yeah. people like to roll through. If you have good lower back, sure, lower back. back. If, it's, if, you, if you get that thing to pop, don't, yeah. then don't do it because you're going to expose yourself. Yeah. So it depends on how you look. You can just come back here, squeeze in here. You don't gotta do the row through. Yeah. If you do, you gotta make sure you, you got that nice separation. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> Take notes. I'm not very good. And I'm a slow learner. <laughs> like a real slow learner. I remember like the first time you were trying to teach me, I was like, man, I, you didn't start doing the foot stuff? I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> you feel out here? Mm -hmm. This is what you need to do. Try to keep engaged, keep pull, pull, pull that shoulder down and back. On every back, on every row, every Even back. when you're, that's what I was talking about when you're doing your, when you're reaching up on mm -hmm. your lap pull downs, you don't want to go up into the shoulder and let this go, because it takes attention off the lat. So you don't want to get the stretch there, you want to keep the you stretch. Wanna, you want to stay here, but stretch through the lats. You're pinning, but you're stretching there. Okay. Instead of shrugging up and doing that. Got it. Because that's not lat, that's stretching, that's such a trap. Your scap little yeah. wing, you know. Yeah, that's a that's a small difference, but it's like that's that's crazy. Yeah, I don't train right. <laughs> no, bro, me neither. <laughs> I don't train right at all, bro. What the fuck? We think we're like kind of level. There's like levels to this shit. Don't worry about like rolling too much and bringing your chest up too much because you're gonna lose a lot of this. More just open up and keep staying engaged too, like that. Bring, try bringing in your thoracic core. So pull this part in. So don't arch you, pull this in. And now bring your chest up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Mark always tells people not to like. So that's that. that's what that's what it is. That's right there. Don't don't oh don't extend don't your thoracic core right here. So try to like keep your abs engaged. Then you're doing don't lose that. Same thing when you're doing your lat pull downs. Mm -hmm. You don't want to over overextend here, because then you're gonna lose a lot of the lat. So whenever I'm doing my pull downs, I'm trying to you could arch a little bit, bring your chest up, but you don't want to overextend this. So you keep it flexed. That way you're going to get more here and more here. Yeah, that's looking really good. Hit, yeah. it, hit it your other way? Like the original the way that you do it normally do it. I feel like that's a much better way of what I normally do. And then I'll go back to the other way. See how it's wide? He looked wider and thicker. It's and so crazy that you can like just look at Good thing I have my shirt on. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. What do you want me to do? Let's see what you got first. Show me okay. what you look like. God, in pressure. Does it matter which way you go? Whatever's most comfortable. Okay. The strain. So you like posing that side, so I'll transition that way. So it's going uh, to it up. That way you're going to do like, so when you do like a, it's going like to, you want to stand, yeah, you could pivot and step, replace. So whenever you're posing, even when you go from your front to your back pose, it's two steps. You're going to go step, replace, pivot. Okay. Damn. Okay. Quick learner. What the fuck? Dude, I took a dancing class in college. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> The best variable of my life. Yeah, you did pretty good. You try, you try to see how this feels when you put your hand here. Just wide here, wide here. I'd be like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm a fucking song. win. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Cutler, where are you at? Bro, if you 
if you drop the three pounds, like, that's, that's, that's an insane. That's, that's good. What's your classic pose? All right, this one. Nice. Yeah, that's a good shot. Bro. Oh, is that right? How are you guys feeling? Fucking, that's hard. Posing, posing's not easy. No. Bro. It's not. I feel like I just ran like a lap around that's why you, got, you guys got to be doing this like 30 yeah. minutes a day. Still, I still need the help. I'm still learning. Yeah, always it's evolving. evolving. Yeah. Yeah. Just training with Chris Cormier this past weekend, like, made me realize I need to go back to a lot of little training habits I was doing with him. Yeah. Kind of get stuck in your weight or just getting in your own rhythm. Yeah. It's good to mix it up. It's I really appreciate it. Man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, of course. Tomorrow. Yes, sure. sir. All right, you guys. That's a wrap for day one out here in Houston, Texas, visiting Alpha Land. Uh, Christian and I go way back, man. I've known Christian for like seven or eight years. And to see firsthand the empire that he's built, I'm just really happy to see his success. He's worked real hard to get here. And what he's built is, it's, it's extremely impressive. Um, I'm just really excited to be out here and spend some time with him. Um, we met Jesse James West today, uh, another really young guy that's doing the right things on social media and the fitness industry. So definitely somebody you guys want to be following along with if you guys are young, watch what that kid's doing. A good dude, good head on his shoulders, has a good heart. And uh, we're actually going to be doing a shoulder workout with him tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for another video next week.